丹，呃，琼玉丹女士呢， Guess, 中国生物多样性保护与绿色发展基金会的。She is the Deputy Secretary General of uh, CBC GDF, and uh, is also the uh, member of ICN. And she is also a researcher and Deputy Secretary, and she is into the uh, Sino-U.S. relationship and cultural exchanges. She is very familiar with the media atmosphere of uh, mainland China, Hong Kong, and the U.S., and she has a lot of experience in the media operation, and she has a lot of experience in the internet and finance and so on and other topics. So let's welcome Ms. Xiong. Thank you, uh, Pei. Hi, everyone. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, hello, my name is Xiong Yutong. I am the Deputy Secretary General of the CBC GDF. I'm very glad to participate in the 8th International Sustainable for Free Fashion Festival and 2022 Act Asia Compassion and Fashion Forum, RCEP 4C 11th to talk about the Zero for Future. So CBC GDF is an authoritative organization in environment protection and actually we were founded in 20 uh, in 1985 in the target of protecting moose and in the last few decades we are dedicated in the production of wildlife as well as the environment and we have made a lot of breakthrough made a lot of breakthroughs in the knowledge dissemination and so on in green development we always focus on the healthy and sustainable development pattern we also conducted international exchanges and we are deeply involved in the environmental governance and we wanted to pass on the good stories of environmental protection in china so on October 15th in 2020, RCEP was signed and that marked that the largest area with the biggest population is forming into a free trade zone. After that, CBC GDF organized the tax force for RCEP and we got the first meeting of RCEP very shortly after. We know that RCEP is not the responsibility of the government, but also the NGOs. So on this open platform on the environment production, sustainable fashion, as well as uh, environment protection, the discussion of those things will definitely bring a lot of impact on realizing the SDGs by the UN. So RCEP 4C is created by CBC GDF. It means civil society, culture, communication, and cooperation. So actually, it's about the civil and also culture and cooperation. It's to build the non-government platform to promote the uh, residential or, or the uh, cooperation among the residents of different countries in environmental protection. And this is the 11th meeting of RCEP4C. So through addressing the opportunities and challenges, we can talk about how we promote the sustainable development in the topics like for free. Fur industry has a great impact on the animal as well as the nature. It's one of the three big topics of sustainable development. With COVID-19, actually the fur industry is getting more attention. With the three crises of uh, human being, uh, climate change, biodiversity degradation, and the degradation of uh, public health, especially with a new crisis uh, of uh, the monkeypox, we have to pay attention to these topics. And zero fur is more beneficial for the people and also to reduce the chance of having the epidemics cross the animals and the human being. And 
Zero fur is actually one step towards the harmonization between the nature and the human being. We want to build uh, a commonwealth of uh, uh, the people across different communities. So for our uh, CBC GDF, we will do more in sustainable development and we want to communicate more and cooperate more under that framework. We would like to invite stakeholders, enterprises, public organizations and experts to talk and share on the issues and we can talk on the green supply chain, the green meetings and the green enterprises, as well as the green rights of the consumers and the promotion of biodiversity and to make them into the mainstream of the society and other topics so that we can contribute more to our SEP and different stakeholders can get a win-win situation. Thank you. And I wish this conference a complete success.